Well, hello there, YouTubes. I am going to show you the two best tools that I know of for getting rid of tonsil stones. Uh, let's head over to the bathroom, uh, one of my favorite rooms in the house, by the way. Not that anyone needed to know that, but if anybody ever needed to find me, that's usually where I'm at. Uh, I've been removing tonsil stones for years now, and I think I have it down pretty good because I have never seen one since I've been doing this method. Now, to get some background here, we this is usually the most popular recommendation and I don't use this anymore. One thing that I do use is this sort of, uh, I would call it a tonsil stone scraper. It has a little light on the end. I don't know if you can see that. Even this does not get used every day because I've been using a different tool, which is this thing. I'll try to get that in frame here. It's supposed to be a water flosser, and it really sucks as a water flosser, but as a way to flush and rinse out your tonsils, it works really well even better than uh, the water pick, which I found really hurt sometimes. Now, if you haven't been doing this every day, then you will want one of these because you're going to need to get out the stones that are actually in there. Uh, but after that, it's just about maintenance and you can just use this right before you brush your teeth every morning. And I'll show you how it goes. So, I will try to not hurt myself as I turn this camera around. And this is gonna be as awkward for me as it is for you. So, here we go. So, I've been using this tonsil pick for a number of years now and it has served me pretty well. One of the things that I really like about it is the soft rubberized tip that lights up so I don't cause any pain or bleeding and I can see what I'm doing. I use it mainly to gently scrape out my tonsil crypts and you'll notice I don't have any stones in this video. That's because I've been using these tools almost every morning. I found that the tonsil pick can actually miss a few stones sometimes particularly when they're really small. So that's where this water flosser comes in. And it actually does a better job of clearing out the crypts than the pick does. It works really well for flushing out the tonsil stones you can't see. And I like to fill it with about 50% oxygenating mouthwash and 50% water, which kills the uh, anaerobic bacteria that causes that signature smell we all love so much. One of the benefits of using this instead of the water pick is that there's no cord, which I've uh, <laughs> knocked over the water pick a few times when trying to bring it to my mouth, so that got really annoying. This particular version of the portable water flosser is that it has a detachable tip that makes it easy to rotate around awkward angles. And you can control the gentleness of the stream of water with the little uh, pump, finger pump thing. And so you don't cause any damage and give yourself a tonsillectomy like you can with the water pick on the lowest setting. All right, so that's what I've been doing every morning and I haven't seen a tonsil stone since. I don't know what I'd call that thing. I'd, I'd personally named it the Tonsil Blaster 4000 because it's like strip mining for for stones, which is kind of gross. But uh, be sure to check out my blog at uh, tonsiltamer.com for the links. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure you stay up to date on more tonsil related videos. All right, I'll see you later.